Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the world of bars and barbells. <laughs> now that we got that out the way, we have John Pignette. I've never heard of him before. Neither have I. We are doing this one because John, who's been a supporter and done a lot of requests on the channel thus far, uh, made mention of John Pignette in terms of a comedian that we should do. So uh, we're checking him out because we've never heard of him before, but we like to check out different comedians. We've got a ton. I think I was starting to do a list, and I'm pretty sure we have like 20 different comedians, maybe 25. At least, I was going to say. At this point. Um, and we're expanding that list today. By Amazing. Doing a, I'm excited. Around the world in 80 buffets. and I love a good buffet. I think uh, John used to, uses some self-deprecating humor <laughs> about his weight, and maybe that's why the 80 buffets is going to come he into play here. He likes his buffets, too. And uh, also, I believe John was named... When uh, we put up that poll regarding who's your favorite comedian, okay, list them below. You guys named a lot of comedians in that, so I think John was named in there as well. Awesome. So we figured we better get to him yeah, at some point. Here we are. We've arrived, and I'm excited to check out another comedian. Are you ready to get going? Because you love your comedy. I am ready. I look forward to this every week. Let's roll. It's a pleasure to be here, because I was just in Las Vegas, so I need the money. <laughs> I lost a lot of money. I really did. I mean, I get them back at the buffet, don't get me wrong. <laughs> 9 95 all you can eat. We'll see who wins this friggin' hand out, won't we? I do believe I have blackjack. I was at the prime rib counter going, hit me again. <laughs> The buffet manager was horrified. You should have seen him. He looked like a deer caught in the headlights. <laughs> Get the primer back in the kitchen. <laughs> Finally, he just, just gave me my money back. Here's your thousand. Get out! <laughs> Actually, they have a buffet in Las Vegas. It's called the Oz Buffet. It's the Wizard of Oz theme. And it's a buffet. That'd be Sam's favorite. You walk up and it's the Emerald City. And it's an all-you-can-eat buffet. Wow, I need to go there. I ran to it. Yeah, how did the witcher, how did the doctor, how did the guy? Step into the sun, step into the lie. Fine ribs and pork chops and scampi. Oh, my. <laughs> pork chops and scampi. Oh, my. Oh, my God. You know, I talk about buffets, not because I'm a big guy. No, I'm actually writing a book, Around the World in 80 Buffets. <laughs> and in my research, I found that there are some foods that shouldn't be all you can eat. Like Chinese food shouldn't be all you can eat because you get hungry again. I don't know what it is. They put something in it. They must. Because I order takeout, they're always real happy. Oh, he gonna be back. <laughs> I give that big boy one hour. Because <laughs> you do get hungry again. What is it, too? And you go from full to starving. There's nothing in between. You go from, oh, my God, I can't believe I ate all that chow mein. Hey, look, they brought egg rolls. <laughs> So I went to this Chinese all-you-can-eat buffet, and while the owner, he got pissed. I mean, he was rude, though. He'd come out every hour. <laughs> Son of a bitch, do <laughs> here. Oh, I'm liking John so far. He's killing me in these accents. Oh, they're great so accents. so good. Yeah, they're awesome. And uh, he's, he's great at storytelling thus far. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm totally hanging on every yeah, word. super engaged. You know, he seems like, um, 
you know, uh, somebody that obviously doesn't care too much about what people think about him. And yeah. He's just here to have fun and have a good time. Yeah. And I love seeing that from a comedic standpoint, right? Like, yes. it allows everybody else to relax about any of the subjects. Yeah. So he's really given that demeanor off, like, let's just chill out and have a great time. And he's, yeah. he's hilarious so far. And I feel like we haven't really done anybody else that's really base their bits on their like making fun of themselves yeah like they'll somebody will make like the odd joke yeah. or the odd comment but it's like you know I, we've seen crowd work where they've been like making fun of other of people course, yeah. but not necessarily themselves yeah exactly that's what i'm saying it's kind of unique that we're seeing him do mm -hmm. this right yeah look he go again <laughs> he started screaming at me you're going now you're here for hour. <laughs> Why you're here for hour? You not come here anymore. <laughs> Why you have spare rib? You're so big. <laughs> Eat vegetable. <laughs> Eat broccoli. <laughs> you're scared. Love Chinese food shouldn't be all you can eat. Now, Japanese food. For the book, I went to an all you can eat sushi place. Mmm. <laughs> all the raw stuff I can eat, huh? It was $22.95. $22.95 for raw fish. $22.95, you throw this on the grill. His face. <laughs> $2.95, I can't eat a dollar's worth. I brought a seal. <laughs> I put them right under the table. <laughs> Another plate, please. <laughs> that seal ate buckets full. <laughs> the owner thought I was eating it all, though. Got yelled at again. <laughs> this guy scared me, though. He, he reminded me of Lord Toronaga from Shogun. <laughs> you! <laughs> Big boy! <laughs> Big boy, come here! <laughs> you eat like free! That you eat like free willy. <laughs> I want to visit Japan. You know, sumo wrestlers in Japan are icons. Oh, I don't think I could be a sumo. No, no, they're big. <laughs> no, they really, I mean, those guys are big. I look at them and go, oh, you've let yourself go. <laughs> you know what I also tried for the book? Tried Indian food. Have you been out for Indian food? Bring a sandwich. Because <laughs> you know they're starving in India. Now I know why. They got plenty of food, they just don't know how to cook it. <laughs> you see, Indian food's too spicy. It's, it is spicy. Spicy's a relative term, I know that. Spicy can mean a lot of things. Spicy can mean, oh geez, you know, that burnt my tongue a little bit. Or it could mean, ah! <laughs> Would you like some water? Ah! That's no, me. Thanks. I always scream at the table. Ah! That scream, dude. It's too hot. I had that curry chicken. It went through my colon like a Japanese bullet train. <laughs> I don't know what a bullet train is. Where's the bathroom? <laughs> Way over there, huh? <sighs> Please, God, let me make it. Don't let me take a dump in the lobby. <laughs> oh, look at the line. They served all the curry at once. They shouldn't do that. <laughs> they should stagger it. 
You could hear Indian music coming from the bathroom. like yo he was funny oh yeah it was he was great it was, i liked him yeah it was a nice clip and we'll have to check out some more for sure you guys will have to get in those yes, comments and let us know from from john what uh what other stuff he's got out there because yeah. he's got a great demeanor so what would the, out of the three that he named between chinese japanese and indian food do you have a preference out of those three for all you can eat yeah, let's go with all you can eat first, and then if you just had to choose one to eat second. Sushi, I would eat over the other two, so Japanese food. Both for an all-you-can-eat and if you would yeah, just 100%. choose one. I don't really, I mean, everybody has their preferences, but I'm not a big Chinese food person. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, I've never had Indian food other than butter chicken, so. I'm not a big spicy person, though. Like yes. When he was doing the, ah, I'm like, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, you're not a spicy person at all. Yeah. I do like spicy food. I do like Indian food. Um, but I I'd would. Say the spiciest I get is like a little tiny bit of chili flakes on my pasta, and that's about it. Yeah, chili flakes, guys. <laughs> yeah. Or like sweet chili Thai sauce. Yeah. That's the spiciest I get. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I, I've, I like indian food but i would choose japanese food you know sushi but it's got to be a particular kind yes. of sushi for me yeah i don't and really I do, do the raw fish yeah i do like like hot rolls as well yes. i'm not into a cold i don't like cold certain things can't be cold for me yeah. i gotta have more i'll do cold rolls but not like sashimi yeah so um i don't i don't dislike chinese food i just I never feel good after I eat it. Same for me. You know, because it's a lot of fried. It's tasty. It's just, it never makes me feel great. Yeah, it's not a fried food. Although, like, you know, if you found a good Chinese food restaurant or maybe authentic Chinese food, because, you know, if it's fast food, it's a little bit different, right? Yeah. Um, you I remember might... when my grandma went to China, she said the food in China is nothing like North American yeah. Chinese food. So. I've, I've heard that as well, right? So, uh, anyways, I would probably go with Japanese food, but maybe we should go out for Indian food and you can, uh, yeah. you can have your go and, have to and try it and check it out and we'll have to check out a little more john pignette yes. as well hopefully i'm saying his name properly around the world in 80 buffets was funny and uh it sounds like he's got some other material so mm -hmm. you guys can let us know unfortunately passed away i think at the age of yeah. 50 due Sad. to overweight complications so um caught up Too with many him. buffets yeah but it caught up with him eventually but he gave us a lot of laughs it sounds like yeah by uh through that process as well so um let us know guys what we should check out from him we appreciate all the support make sure you like and comment and uh, hit the subscribe button as well and we'll see you in our next video thanks for watching guys see you next time